It's time now for your look at arts and lifestyle with Adam Sawatsky. It uh, looks like we're taking a look at one of Victoria's nicer homes to start off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, at least that's how it started out. Is one of Victoria's uh, nicest homes. Uh, gone through so many different, uh, had so many different roles since then. And uh, you know, Victoria's Craig Dark Castle has even been featured uh, as the set in movies. But now it's the star of one. The former Dunsmere family home is the focus of a new documentary, which is making its castle debut tonight. For over 120 years, it has stood the test of time. The, the type of tourists that visit Victoria, they come because of our history, because of our architecture, and because of these things. And without a civic museum, we don't actually have anywhere where they can go and learn about strictly Victoria or Vancouver Island. And this documentary really places the history of the castle within the context of our local history. The 52-minute video documents the castle's many roles, from family home to military hospital, from college to conservatory. Along with archival footage, Craig Derrick's story is told with reenactments. CTV News visited the taping of one of those scenes, a real fight that happened outside the Bank of BC in 1885, which is now the Barton Bank of Pub. We know generally that Robert Dunsmere built the castle. Many people have heard of Armour de Cosmos as a flamboyant uh, former premier and an editor of one of the local papers. But uh, people don't know some of the particular stories, and this was a very colorful one. Okay. People often travel far afield and say, wow, they have wonderful cultures around the world. Well, we've got a pretty fantastic culture and history right here in Victoria, and we'd like people to know more about it. The Craig Derrick documentary is screening tonight and Sunday at the castle as part of an extended tour. And there will also be showings every Friday through June 8th. You can find out full details at castle.ca. Well, if you think that uh, painting is pretentious, you'll want to stop by Victoria's Deluge Gallery because its latest exhibit features the work of three down-to-earth beer-loving guys who just spontaneously started making art together. It's like a guy's club. I mean, it started off as just three friends hanging out together. And then uh, an observation was made that, hey, we're all artists in our own right. Why not, instead of just hanging out and drinking beers, why don't we get the canvas out and some wood and start making some things together? I think the analogy has been made. It's more like a band than a, than a team, right? Because everybody's got their strengths, whether it's, you know, playing drums, guitar, and, and singing. But everybody in this has their, their strengths, too, and it just leads to a, a finished product. The trio's latest collection is titled Carrion, features new and repurposed work inspired by both the urban and natural experience. Along with that tent, there are sculptures and paintings. The artists say that after working together for almost a decade, their creative process is inclusive and efficient. We just keep on switching off, sometimes two people up working at the same time, sometimes three. But it's usually just kind of, the painting will unfold and then we'll sort of sit back and discuss what it, what it is as it's happening. For the most part, yeah, a, a few beers and uh, some music going on. It's a pretty relaxed atmosphere over in the studios. The Woodpile Collective's Carrion exhibit opens tonight at the Deluge Gallery on Yates Street near Broad and runs through June 16th. And you can find out full details on their website, woodpilecollective.blogspot.ca.